Welcome to Edo's spoiler cast of Werewolf by Night being published sometime before Halloween. I'm Will. I'm Josh. I can't do that voice. Yes, I'm okay. Ben. Hello, everybody. I didn't, I didn't even no, try. Josh, I, I feel like I he set that up. Something. Like, yeah, he hey! set that up really high for us. And That's then, okay. But just, yeah. I can't say... I'm, I'm not even going to attempt it because I can't get to that level. Yeah. At my best, <laughs> yeah. I reckon I, I would I would do like a 50% effort of mm. that. Mm. I'm yeah. very sick, so yeah. I would probably put in like 10%. Two of us still have COVID. We're narrowing it down. Can you work out who yep. it is? Who uh, has it? Uh, who? Uh, who? It's, it's actually probably like generally going to be tough. That's because true. <laughs> you're full of energy and I'm never <laughs> yeah. that yeah. full of energy as much as you, so... Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I don't have it, so you know. Yeah. Definitely not. No, it's all Josh. Josh is two people. He's actually two people in a I trench am. coat, which is the opposite of what you'd expect. <laughs> yeah, I'm two very small people in a trench coat. Uh, I'm tiny. We're talking about werewolf by night. <laughs> you wouldn't think so. You wouldn't think so. Uh, as we always do and did in the past hour, we kick things off with a bit of spoiler for you. How do we feel about this very first special presentation from Marvel Studios? Um, uh, Josh, how did you feel? I I went into it not knowing anything about it. You I didn't just see a trailer, coming. did you? Not nothing. a single thing. Yeah. I had nothing. So I didn't know it was in black and white. <laughs> Amazing. Like, oh, cool. So you got the shock when it like changed. Yeah, yeah. That's sick. Yeah. It was like, all of it was like cool. Like, this is (laughs) rad. Yeah. This is really rad. Um, Yeah. So, uh, really, really enjoyed that. Um, I loved, I'm sure there were, there were more in there that I didn't notice, Mm. but there seemed to be like little Easter eggs and stuff throughout the whole thing, which were very cool. Mm. It's probably a bunch that I missed. Um, it's hard. It, They're all in black and white. You gotta decipher yeah, them. yeah, it's hard. Hard to def- yeah. it's, hard, it's yeah. hard to see. Yeah, I can't. What? What is it? The nineteen twenties? <laughs> um, yeah, who's got is that even a joke? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> who has it? Continue. Um, thank you. Uh, yeah, I I loved like the freaking set pieces mm. in terms of it. You know being a kind of like a, a parody or a love letter yeah. to 1920s horror or 1940s whatever like they did it so damn well mm-hmm. like everything looked great but at the same time looked cheap yeah like yeah. it looked like a set it wasn't because um, like like you say parody or love letter it's hard to tell which it is because it's mm. like it's not funny like it's not funny that it is that because it's so well yes. done, but you, I think because we're so used to the parody element of it, it's like, oh yeah, this is pretty tropey, but it's good. Yeah. Like it's a good version yeah. of that. In a, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's really cool. And like, even though it's like that, you still find yourself getting lost T- in it anyway. Totally. Like the whole time you're not like, oh, this is so old or mm. feels old or whatever. You're like, no, this I'm feels this. like a modern, <laughs> yeah, it feels like a modern like film yeah but there's also these cheap things that also look good like yeah. it's a yeah, weird yeah, yeah. it's a really weird in between and i i loved it i thought it was really really fun um yeah the the one the, the monster yeah, yeah yeah in it um that isn't the werewolf yeah yeah i uh, such a good little so good. little introduction blew my mind messaged <laughs> yeah uh, friend of ours peter immediately yeah, and i'm like us. Do you know about it? And he's like, I I know that it's come out. And yeah. I'm like, do you know about a certain thing that's in it? And yeah. he's like, are you talking about this thing? Yeah. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> and we, we had a good chat about it because I was so excited. And I'm like, he's going to freaking love this if he doesn't know about <laughs> yeah. it. Um, it's already very but, him anyway. And then that's just the icing yeah. on the cake. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. So, it is, it's such a, yeah, I, I loved, loved the show. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a single episode, one hour yeah, special. special. Um, it was it was very fun. Like, I guess it's you know it's not like gonna blow your mind, mm. but it's just fun. It's, it's just, just a good. fun <laughs> little special, and I'm excited for Marvel to do more of those. Yeah, Benny boy. Yes, um, I adore it. Uh, I haven't. I watched it at like one thirty a.m. Yep. During quite packs. drunk like yeah like very drunk. on my phone in bed um so my memory of it is a little bit 
wishy-washy. Yeah. Someone's um, saying that's the only way to watch it. Yeah. Though, right? yeah. Uh, and I, I thought I would watch it. <laughs> it's the only way I has. thought I would have watched it. <laughs> um, I, I was like planning, fully planning to watch it again. I haven't got around to it yeah. since. Um, but even with that experience, initially I was like, I'm worried this is enhancing the experience and everyone else hates it. Mm. But then I talked to Will and it was like, it's very good. It's very good. Um, it's- but no, I, I think it's brilliant. I love seeing people get the opportunity to be creative mm. in Marvel Studios stuff. Um, we've just come off talking about She-Hulk, which was an example of that. And I think this is even more of an example of that. Of like, obviously... There are formulas, there are stuff that they know works with audiences, but I think one of the benefits of Disney Plus and like Marvel being the juggernaut it is at this point is they can take more risks like Mm. doing one off 40 minute specials like this that like I don't expect, I don't, I'm not behind the financials of it, but I don't expect this is bringing in like so much money for them. Yeah. Um, But it's just an opportunity to have basically Michael Giacchino create his passion project Mm -hmm. um and like go out to everyone and i think that's awesome um and i really hope this is the first of them experimenting more with this format and not shying away from exploring more obscure marvel characters in ways that are more befitting to those characters rather than kind of just chucking them in a random show somewhere for a bit of a laugh you know and like having the characters that are in the show that that are in this uh special b first appear in this special i think is an important thing to like if we see them again um it's set a tone for them that i think is unique to uh, a lot of other marvel properties to the point where i like I, I hope that carries over but i also it excites me for like what this could breathe into other marvel things totally and i think that's the the interesting thing like WandaVision was this, right? Like, it was it was experimenting with what the Marvel Universe can be portrayed through. But that is in a way of, like, it's got a purpose in the universe. Like, it's existing because Wanda's doing it. And I was like, I don't know how they're ever going to do that again confidently. And this is it. Like, this is them just going, fuck it. That This is how we're going to make this thing. And that's how it's going to exist. And I, I mean, I can't think of other ways other styles that they can pull upon but i do hope that they do this for 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 many other things and that's the 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 other wonderful thing about this is that it is in universe it's not like a Mm. one-off thing it's like these characters are are going to carry over somewhere um Mm. and that's why you know as much as this it is perfect there is nothing i would Mm. change i would have loved to have seen like a moon knight or someone just someone that like we've already seen just to really be like oh my god this is fucked like you, Even just a moon-shaped here. cloak on the top of a- Totally. Uh, yeah. Like a banister because somewhere. Or something. As, as, as we, like, read, mm. you know, the, the origin of Moon Knight, uh, Moon Knight first showed up in, in Werewolf, Werewolf by, by Night. Night. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would have been- Just a yeah, little- Such a perfect little- a little thing. Little carryover yeah. for sure. But at yeah. the same time, like, I think, it, the you know, as much as- And we've got to talk more about it, but it feels like Moon Knight could live in this. Like, it, it is- They mm. really did construct, like, an interesting hybrid of, like you say, a modern style thing that isn't, like, being held down by the old style acting or anything, but at the same time is embracing those tropes. Because the thing that I loved more than anything, second to the music, holy shit, in, like, <laughs> I'll get back to the thing I actually loved- the music, yeah. it, like, who would have thought hiring a composer to direct something, he would construct the entire thing around his music? Like, mm. from the off, like, the thing that you weren't expecting, like, the, the Marvel opening, which he already had composed, to then, like, funnel that through this thing and add those hammer o- elements that floods through into this beautiful opening cinematic. Like, it, 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 it is, like, um, it's Taika with Ragnarok and not the other one. It's James Gunn with his films. It feels like Giacchino was over everything and was like, this is how mm. everything needs to be. And I, I and She-Hulk as well. It, like, I hope they keep doing this. I hope, let, and as much as we didn't love Multiverse of Madness, that as well. It felt like Sam Raimi was like, Oh, this is where I want everything to be. Let me do my thing. And that's what I really, I adored with this. And the music was wonderful. Like I even just, yeah, the music and the diegetic use of diegetic sound on top of it. Like the, often the lack of music Mm. or just like the, the The quietness of a lot of scenes. Yeah. Yeah, It was like really, really good. Like, yeah, it, it, Hiring composer to do this was brilliant, especially given the tone they were going for and the setting they went for. I think it allowed them to construct around the music and just create that, like, 
create that sense of it being a 40s, 50s mm. horror piece so much better than anything else could have done. Because, like, as you mentioned, like, WandaVision did the black and white yeah. shtick and, like, all that. And, like, that was great. But I, having seen this, I'm like, okay, but this did it better. This has more of an identity than WandaVision ever had. WandaVision was great but had it was le- not willing to stick to it as much as yeah. it possibly could have. it leaned and this more is into like- parody like we were kind of it, yeah it felt like it was jabbing yeah. more than it was just being whereas yeah i think this feels like a genuine homage to it mm. i think that's really cool yeah the one element that i wish was that it was shot on film or even shot in black and white it's very much mm. a digital mm. thing that's been treated and it's been treated wonderfully yeah. like it feels as much as you, as much as we're currently doing, that you can push yeah. something into it, but it yeah. is like sometimes things are, are too crisp, and I'm like, oh, I wish you were a little bit more just broken uh, in terms yeah. of the, the film quality. But every now and again, you get like the little film grain blip, yeah, in like, like part of you. the screen and stuff, which is like that's kind of I, 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 I like that, yeah. But, um, yeah. but yeah, the thing that I actually was most surprised by it because even with the trailers that came out that you didn't see, Josh, they weren't very, like, heavy on who our protagonist was, any of that kind of element. The thing I was most surprised by is how much I fell in love with Jack Russell and and Elsa Bloodstone. Like, they are like, (laughs) Jack Russell. It is his name, everybody. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So, it's- They were, like, like legitimately great protagonists, and I I was like, I want to see more of you within, like, 20 Mm. minutes. And I was like- Oh, it sucks that I know I only have like another thirty minutes with you for the foreseeable future. Because I was like, you him as this like jittery, awkward man that obviously becomes the beast. He he's so good, and it's and it's something now. Fifteen years into Marvel films, it's surprising when you can find another way to make a dude awkward. Because mm-hmm. like every Marvel character is an awkward man. That is, they're either an awkward man pretending to be confident or they're a confident man pretending to be awkward uh and it, it's surprising now that that they that yeah i don't know this felt like a unique character in this obviously also spanish i think is is, is the the i think so actress. i didn't i didn't know that about his character in the comics i assume no, it is I don't a think bit so. this character over from the comics I'm but not like too yeah. sure but it, it but yeah but it's it was a good nice choice to have that yeah. and and yeah. Because it, it brought a unique performance to it as well as, like, having the markings on his face, which I also don't know is comic-based. Like, from my memory, at least probably- maybe it's come through in later comics, similar to Moon Knight, adding a lot of actual kind of world history to the characters. But, um, it's like, yeah, I don't know. It, it just felt like such a- and uh, Joshy hates this when we do. I don't know. So, I'm, I'm glad Ben's currently typing away. Yeah. Um, but I, I loved him. The, what, the character I was scared of was Elsa Bloodstone because I was like- you don't look like Elsa Bloodstone. I've seen Elsa Not Bloodstone. <laughs> um, mm. And, of course, they stray away from it because, you know, it's a very sexualized character in the comics and that, quote, unquote, works in comic books. And I don't think we'll ever see something like that carried over to live action unless it's a joke, which is fair. Uh, but I yeah. think what we end up- Or an up- alien. Or an alien that like, doesn't if, understand. If we ev- yeah, if we ever get- um, uh, Oh, what's the the, mm. guard- the one from Moon Dragon? No, um, I was thinking like the the oh know, yeah yeah, yeah. sexual uh, hellbender the game yeah, yeah. hellbender yeah. lady hellbender I can see her yeah coming in as like you know big big strong yep. you know step on me <laughs> energy yeah um but but just yeah, a person I, I, I don't agree think we'll, <laughs> we'll be going there yeah um, and I just I don't I I totally agree like hmm. I I don't think a character like that would have fit in this at all yeah totally you needed you needed essentially um i uh crap forgot her name um jessica jones (laughs) jessica jones thank you you essentially needed jessica jones but not her um and she and it worked i I do it is one of those ones where it's like i feel like if she came up against jessica jones it'd be Starting, startlingly the same character. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, her entire energy is just that de- dejected character that was Jessica Jones. But it worked mm-hmm. here. It did- it, the costume was a wonderful, like, simplified translation of that with the bright orange coat, which we eventually get to see. Um, but, yeah, it is the one- it's the one thing I'm like, oh, it's a shame she's not, like, basically Tracer from Overwatch is her mm-hmm. character in the mm-hmm. comics. Um, but it, it works. It does the job. I think the accent is what- kind of helps to define her from Jessica Jones as well. It is it, it is that extra layer of British that, like, kind of, yeah. yeah, it changes it up a bit. But, yeah, Jack Russell. Yeah. What a cool uh, thing. 
Yeah. yeah. You want a couple Jack Russell facts? Give us some. Yeah, do it. He can go different um, ways here. <laughs> uh, well, so the funniest part that I read at the start actually was that uh, created by uh, Jerry Conway, mm-hmm. uh, breeders have often pointed out that the lead character's name, Jack Russell, is also a breed of dog. Conway has said that while he cannot remember how he came up with the name, it is unlikely that he was making this canine reference consciously, <laughs> as he did not own a dog and never lived with one growing up. I call he bullshit. Did not own that. a dog. Yeah. <laughs> I've There's never no had a, a Jack Russell either. That's not a fucking I know what excuse. They <laughs> That's not. I've just ne- then, just yeah. then, when you said readers mm. yeah. say whatever, I heard breeders. I heard breeders so I was well, like, yeah. he's done it. He's bloody, <laughs> yeah. he's bloody got he's us. He's going to talk yeah. to us about Jack Russells. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, so, and then Jack Russell is Transylvanian in the comics. Okay. Um, so mm-hmm. from Europe, so a completely different thing. So I think yeah. they're They've kind done- of going away from that a little bit. Yeah. Um, stuff to do with the Darkhold and Cthon and Wondergore Mount. So, you know. Yeah, cool. So he's in that. Um, one. But then the, yeah. And then the current, the new Jack Russell, uh, new Jack Russell, <laughs> the new, uh, Werewolf by Night, uh, yeah. which I have read a bit of, which is mm. why I was a little bit unsure about stuff, is called Jake Gomez, and he is of Native American descent. Yeah, which okay. is why I was like, I, so it feels like they're kind of they're playing with going in between of, yeah. the two a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah, but, but no, yeah, it was nice. It's similar uh, to uh, like what they've done with Namor by adding in like a different heritage, but it, it like just fits the character in a way that yeah, yeah. the comics never did. Um, totally. Yeah. Um, and yeah, on the Elsa Bloodstone bit, I think she. I, I I liked her. I liked her because she was different in this thing. Mm. I felt like she was like, it was all very campy and mm. like uh, built around the premise of what the special was. And then she was felt out of place, which yeah. I think worked really well for her character. And like uh, Jack to a lesser extent, Jack was like kind of in between the two worlds. And then yeah. she was just here being like, I don't want what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. The, the yeah. like the, the cut around of all these like hunters engaged in this con and yep. she's just laid back completely out of it um, yeah and the hunters were cool it, you know it definitely felt like one of those things where you know and like we we're talking with she hawk i'm sure there were people disappointed that blade wasn't just hanging out <laughs> and it wasn't just a bunch of names that we'd heard of but um you know there's definitely like it, they're establishing that world now of Monster hunters and vampires. There's a vampire in she hawk We didn't bring that up, but there is a vampire in she hawk Just casually. He's just there. But is he a vampire? But is he? Or does, or does he, he just, think he's one? <laughs> does he just like blood? Um, yeah, I, I adored that. And I, and I think that the world that they're, they're creating is is interesting. I like that it's, you know, the magic of, of the MCU, as in the magic, not like, oh, it's mm. uh, how great's the MCU. Uh, it has always been quite clean like everything doctor strange related has been like wow it's psychedelic but it's not really dark and even in multiverse of madness they they treaded lightly on that but stuff like this stuff like even moon knight and i think we're getting deeper into it whatever the agatha show is i really like it and i think this is a great way to kind of tread into it especially with something like swamp thing it's man thing man thing man thing man thing Swamp Thing's the DC one. They look That's the same. That's what I did too. They look yeah. the same. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, it's Swamp Thing. Wait, is it no, Man No, no, yeah. crap. What is it? What's his um, name? This is spoilers now. In case we've yeah, lightly wait. treaded around it, yeah. but Man Thing is in this. Yeah. And um, Ted. Yeah, he's Ted. Mm. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. <laughs> um, yeah. It's just like uh, the tension to his reveal is yeah. perfectly done to mm-hmm. the point where you're like, this is going to be really scary. Yeah. And then just the way they hug is like the most wholesome <laughs> yeah. thing. And you instantly, the way it changes the tone of the entire yeah. special, like, because up until that point, you're just kind of very unsure as to everything it's that's on going edge. on. And yeah. 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 Um, but uh, it's just it, it instantly you can understand the relationship between these two characters. And then, the, I, I, I'm just, I'm still a bit in awe of the ability they had to fit all of this into like 50 minutes and have a basic sync story because yeah. that happens like 10, 15 minutes in. Yeah. And then they have the whole journey of getting Man Thing out of there mm-hmm. and then the ending as well mm-hmm. within all this period of time. And it's like, not only did the show not overstay its welcome by being longer than that, but yeah. it also managed to fit it into quite a short runtime. Totally. Um, and yeah. God, him getting the bomb placement was fucking glorious. Like, it was yeah. just perfect yeah. comedy. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's Marvel. It's, it, <laughs> yeah. They did a Marvel. Yeah. They got it in yeah. there. But, like, and, 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 like, of its time, like it, like we keep saying, they just, they've, they're fitting their formula through the lens mm. of the time. Like, it is so simple. It, like, it feels like an Adam West Batman moment. It doesn't feel mm. like a, 
a Star Lord moment. It feels very yeah. much like a, a retro comedy, and yeah, no, it was wonderful. Yeah. And it is it is such a simple premise because it is really he's only there to get man thing out. That's mm. the whole thing is that, and it just so happens the Bloodstones around. Um, yeah. And that's wonderful. And it's another thing that like like with the Guardians game, I was so happy to, and you knew nothing, Josh, but like not knowing what it was was so nice. Like, mm. not knowing what a plot is <laughs> is yeah. such a yes. unique experience nowadays. Um, well, so, yeah. yeah. Well, even because you and I, I think, will watch the trailer together because mm. I think it was in it was D23. one of the D- D23 things. Um, and even us watching that trailer, we were, I remember us being like, what? I have no clue what, what this that? is still. <laughs> and the only things we were, like, pointing out were like, oh, it's Elsa and yeah. it's Man Thing. But we only saw the characters and they did such a good, yeah. like, job of playing with those expectations throughout the whole thing. Whereas, like... Because a lot of man- pieces of man thing media mm. that exist. I mean, there's like a horrible movie from like mm. 20 years ago. Shot that, in that Australia. Are just, yeah. Um, which are just like, don't actually lean into the aspects yeah. of the character that make it interesting in the comics and all that mm. stuff. Whereas like, this is like playing with the idea of man thing actually being like a, a sympathetic character mm. that's been thrown into this environment. And I really appreciated that take because, you know, I mean, it's not necessarily the mo- most unique thing. Mm. Plenty of pieces of comic media, I think, have done it at this point. We have a sympathetic villain, but it wasn't even really a villain. No. He just became a buddy yeah. halfway yeah. through. <laughs> and I, loved, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Was, was Man Thing in the trailer? Is that what you a guys were saying? Just a frame. flash. One frame. of him. Yeah. No, no, because I remember Will shouting man thing and maybe like what and then we had to right. scroll back through to find it yeah or did he yell swamp thing i did i yelled swamp I, thing man. i did I yell swamp things yeah, yeah. i and think then we, it never, was, um, we never said man thing we just kept calling him swamp thing. <laughs> yeah it was just it was one of the frames of him like burning the people alive yeah. as yeah. well so it was like right <clears throat> and that's one thing that this this is obviously toying into those darker territories of just gore and blood because hands come off, blood flies at screens, mm. like and obviously the black and white filter is letting that pass on that that Marvel, you know. It's MA fifteen plus though. It is, and it, it 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 gives good hope for Blade if it ever fucking comes out. But <laughs> you know, Deadpool and stuff like that, mm. they they're gonna let it fly. And I think that like no, it's tasteful. Like it, everything mm. that the 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 beast, the werewolf does, is fucking sick. Like the mm-hmm. transformation, and only really seeing that through shadow is perfect. Obviously, you know, such end a, of the time, end of the like, it's such a trope. As well, like, yeah, it's really good. But but it looks perfect, and like his entire daredevil hallway fight is so cool. Like just mm. staying on and slowly pushing in as it all. Oh, it's just a flashing light and like, stuff. Like we had our superhero move, movie moments last year. I think that will be one of them because it is just such mm-hmm. a sick little little vignette of of, of comic book moment. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, mm. um, I also love the weird um, architecture yep. that they have going around. There's a weird combination of like brutalism and like really classic architecture, mm. and I didn't expect it to work, but I think. <laughs> Um, like that hallway scene is very much in like yeah. a kind of brutalist hallway. Um, and some are like the maze as well when they pan over the top of it. It's all very yeah. concrete and everything. Mm. Um, but I think uh, it does it, that itself does a good job of like moving it from being like, uh, oh, this is like a 50s setting to being, oh, we're paying homage to it, but this is set within mm. the current day and we're trying to help you understand that this is, yeah. Yeah. This is being brought into our current world that we know. Mm-hmm. We had a black and white filter. Speaking of, Josh, your yeah. favourite colour is red. Do you like, do you like all the red? <laughs> some good red, some good red. <laughs> and even uh, even throughout it, it's interesting how colour, like you can still tell what colour something mm. is through a sort of black and white sepia filter. Yeah. Because the whole time I'm like, if they bring the colour back yeah. at the end of this, as, you know, things do in modern time, um her jacket's going to be red. <laughs> yeah, like, totally. It's going to be like a like a, a an orangey yeah. red or something. Yeah. Like I can tell <laughs> it's it's grey at the moment. Yeah. But there's something about it. You just you just know. And it's I I found that really interesting throughout it. I'm yeah. like I wonder what color that is. I reckon it's this. <laughs> yeah, like, mm. it's it's kind of it's a weird thing with black and white. Totally, it, everything was so like despite it being shot in color, which I I, I still very mm. sad that they weren't like one division shot in black and white. So her red dress was blue uh, and stuff like that like they went all in on matching stuff like that um but yeah it is such a cool like how designed everything was to fit the style of everything and i loved the the coming to color like obviously 
flat mm. out using the Wizard of Oz track in there to to bleed it through. It was I think it was very good. Yeah. This leans into when I was watching it and the timing of it, but I don't think I realized the stone was glowing red until <laughs> right at the end. Good. When it all came to color. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it came from the stone. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Nice. Um, Everything's glowing. Yeah. But I, I like even when they brought the color back and mm. you just had um, Ted and Jack. Yeah. Ted and Jack. Ted and little Jack. Little duo sitting at like a bus stop or whatever. Yeah. Just on or the Or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, even that still had like the kind of uh, filmic textures to it and stuff. It oh, was it very so like- good beautifully shot so even though they brought back that color and did mm. that kind of transition it didn't lose the identity of the rest of it totally. even for like the one or two minutes that it was that well, that's the thing this thing is shot like a motherfucker like there yeah. isn't there isn't a simple shot in this at all there's never mm. a two shot of just all right we're gonna shoot the face and then we'll shoot the and everything is just designed like mm. i i i don't I looked at Giacchino's filmography i think he directed a pixar short like he hasn't really done like this he hasn't just shot a film before and like this is just so beyond <laughs> like it really does put to shame so much of the mcu in terms of the the vanilla styling of a lot of the shots um i think it's yeah even like um especially recently when we've got more of like the volume mm, um, mm. shots and watching a lot of that stuff recently and it's, looking at something like this same. where they're dealing with claustrophobia and i'm like this could have been shot in the volume mm. theoretically but yeah. like, I even if it had been, or if, even so, there's mm. enough of a identity in the cinematography and yep. the style of it that I feel like I hope they start taking a lot away from this and are like, okay, mm. we can we can experiment with these different mediums, but we need to like actually still lean into the talents of our cinematographers and yep. our directors, yep. that kind of thing. Yeah, I I think a lot of the pre production work has to kind of Stop making the movie before they they start yeah. shooting. Just let the film cre- be. Cre- yeah, anyway, there's a whole discussion there to be had. But I think we've <laughs> had our discussion on Werewolf by Night. I think mm-hmm. uh, I have, Josh's I fingers have. back. Two, yeah, oh, he's got two we're fingers. Back, we're back. <laughs> I, I've got I've got two things that I just wanted to shout out. I loved the little like funny thing. Two man things. <laughs> Two, yeah, two man things. <laughs> okay, good. Um, two, uh, one, one swamp man thing, thing, one swamp thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, towards the start, um, when they're all sitting down about to, you know, get the- mm. Basically, what the, what's going to happen in the night. Yeah. Um, and they have the butler, like, turning the thing, like, turning a crank, which opens up the, yeah. the coffin. The dead and the dad. the guy's, <laughs> like, yeah. The, the dad, like, Elsa's dad is, like, puppeteering <laughs> and has pre-recorded himself talking. Yeah. So freaking funny. Like, <laughs> bizarre. Yeah. What a strange choice. So macabre. Very, very funny. <laughs> yeah. And then the- uh, I, I had a, a rewind moment. Yep. Uh, where I just had to be, like- that was insane, and I had to actually rewind and rewatch it. Um, when Elsa first gets the uh, the arm mm-hmm. uh, bow and arrow, mm-hmm. so mm. she cuts she cuts off the guy's hand at one stage, and then they have this back and forth fight, yeah. um, and it falls into this crack in between like where there's plants and stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. and she rolls into the crack and gets it and then rolls out of the crack somehow. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> that, how do you even do that? Yeah. Who is choreographing <laughs> that? Like who, who came up with yeah. the concept of rolling in and out up a ledge? <laughs> yeah. Like how that, do you do that? That entire fight sequence is fucking Phenomenal. amazing. Like it's so, it's good. so snappy. I, <laughs> yeah. I just, I had to rewind yeah. and just ro- watch her roll in and then d- immediately out mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of, of of often on a ledge, yeah, oh, like God. impossible. I don't know how she managed to actually physically do, do that. Yeah, phenomenal. Such a good shot, <sighs> Ben. Go rewatch it. You've got no reaction to this. <laughs> no, no. I said, yeah, no. I know you, she went in the crack, but other than that, no idea. <laughs> yep, yep. Please rewatch it. It's uh, such yeah. a good moment. Go I will it, rewatch like, it on a TV because it was the one thing when I was watching it, being like, "This is on my phone. I know yeah. for a fact this will look really good watching it on the TV." But <laughs> yeah. I am not leaving yeah. my bed. Nah. Yeah, no, yeah. it's good. It's good. Uh, please, Emmy, watch it uh, if you want to check mm. it out. Now it's on Disney Plus. Um, yes. Thank you, everybody, for listening to another spoiler cast on a Marvel project. We've got two more to go. Just two more: Black Panther and Guardians Christmas Special. Maybe it'll come out mm. this year. Maybe. Uh, Hopefully at Christmas. <laughs> maybe at Christmas. <laughs> 
Or the holiday special because we don't. Oh, okay. Holiday. So they're leaving it open. I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, somewhere in December. Um, uh, if, if you want to hear us talk more about Marvel stuff, we've got a She-Hulk podcast that's live now because this came out somewhere near Halloween, near October holiday. Uh, but if you want to see- Holiday. <laughs> holiday. Uh, if you want to see- I want to laugh, but I can't. <laughs> you're, dying, you're dying. It's okay. We're all dying. Yeah. Who's got COVID? Uh, if you want to check out more of us and you're only hearing us currently, you can head to youtube.com slash each to their own. But if you're seeing our faces- touch the keyboard everything's fine uh you can head to any audio platform and just type in edo you'll find a podcast we have podcasts there uh what else do we have josh uh we do a twitch uh nearly every monday and friday (laughs) yeah so a singular one yeah we've got a couple between us um uh we've got uh, a twitch.tv slash each to their own um come hang out basically every wednesday and friday and every second no, Monday and Friday and every second <laughs> Wednesday. Christ. Yeah, there Amazing. it is. Yeah, good. <laughs> um, I, that's a yeah, pretty good schedule, by the way. I never, bad. I never realized that yeah. that's an actual schedule. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. we're on there. Anyway, um, sorry. Continue it's, it's, on. <laughs> it's been it's been a little crazy over the last mm. uh, couple of weeks yeah. with things, packs, yeah. and everything. But we'll, we'll get back. We'll be coming back. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, Ben, what is what is the other Twitch that we have between us? The other Twitch. Uh, that we have between us like my twitch (laughs) oh yeah great yeah Yeah. sorry that took a bit um (laughs) my twitch is twitch.tv forward slash argon tv um as you can see because of the state i'm in uh currently well currently at time of recording i'm not doing a lot of streaming but maybe when this comes out around halloween um we i I might be i might be doing a lot more yeah um so you know check go follow there and you'll find out Yay. There we go. And if you want to give us any money and support us, you can head to Patreon. Doc- no, it's not Patreon. 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 To patreon.com slash each to their own. Give us three bucks, get into a super secret Discord, seven bucks and up. You get more things. That's cool. Ooh, that's pretty seat. That's, pr- that's a pretty seat. <laughs> <It's> what, a- <laughs> what a seat. What a good looking seat over there. Wow. Uh, good. All right. Uh, we're done. To making podcasts today. Let's go back to making podcasts tomorrow. Uh, until yeah. the next time, I've been Will. I've been Josh. And I've been Man Thing. Oh, not Swamp Thing. Hey, not Swamp Thing. That ain't no Swamp Thing. Mm-hmm.